So if you're a beginner looking for some fast growing aquarium plants to go in your fish tank and you want something that's going to grow really fast without the need of CO2 and high light conditions, well you've come to the right place. Hey guys, it's Lazarus here and in today's video we're going to be discussing the top five best fast growing aquarium plants for beginners. So make sure you stick around to the end for all five plants without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first plant on the list is Wisteria. Wisteria is a very popular aquarium plant and it's mostly recommended to keep with guppies or other live bearers for breeding as it provides so many hiding spots for fry, but it's a really easy plant to keep, usually pretty cheap and it's pr it grows super fast. So it doesn't require high light conditions at all. It can go in low light without CO2 and it's going to take off. So as long as you've got a nice bunch and you've got some fertilizers in the tank, then you'll be set and this plant will take off only a few days after you put it in the aquarium, hopefully. They do require a tropical temperature from 24 to 28 degrees Celsius, but they're not fussy at all. And they will even go in cold water tanks too without a heater. So basically give them a try and see how you like them. As long as you got the fertilizers, you'll be just fine and they'll grow super fast. Now next up is Valisneria. I'm talking about basically any type of Valisneria. They're all pretty easy to grow and they grow pretty fast too. But in here, I've got some native thin Valisneria. So it's Australian native and it grows so much. There's new shoots coming every time and it's going to the surface almost all the time. I'm always going to have to trim it every week. So it is a very quick, fast growing aquarium plant. It doesn't need a strong light at all and it can go in a tall aquarium easy. So in fact, it's preferred to have it in a tall aquarium as this plant does grow very tall. This plant grows a bit different than your stem plants like Wisteria. So basically the Valisneria will grow runners. So basically little runners are gonna come off the main plant and then you'll have more Valisneria popping up all over the tank. So it's a great, great plant to lay out across the aquarium. And you can always just take it out if it's uh, taking over too much. But yeah, it grows super quickly and it's super easy to find, at least in my area it is, and there's a variety out there to choose from. Okay, so this plant takes absolutely no effort to grow quickly. It is the Elodia. So this plant doesn't actually need fertilizers. I've had success by floating the plant and it takes off. So, I mean, you're gonna have the plant at first at about 10 centimeters tall and then a week later it's going to be 15 to 20. It grows that big. When I woke up in the morning it was bigger and it's really taken off in my 90 liter. In fact it's so big that it's probably over a meter long. So that's how fast these plants grow and they are super easy to take care of. They can survive wide parameters of water. I could even put them in a tank with no heater and they do just fine. In fact, they're great for goldfish and especially raising up goldfish fry. And I do recommend this mainly for floating. If you have a fry tank, this is a great choice, but I haven't really had much success planting it in the substrate for some reason. So give them a try and they do grow very fast. So next up, we have a carpeting plant. It doesn't require CO2 or many fertilizers or high lighting conditions. We have the pearl weed. So I haven't kept this plant before, but I've seen it in person and I've always wanted to get it. So pearl weed is basically a weed that grows on the bottom of the tank. It'll spread out. So you have a few of them. They'll start growing and they'll carp it out on the bottom. They look like baby tears and they're absolutely beautiful. So if you're looking for a great centerpiece plant for your aquarium, you're just a beginner and you want a carpeting plant, something to go at the front of the tank, well, the pearl weed is a great option if you can find it in your area. Pearl weed is amazing because it carpets so much and so quickly too that uh, it provides so much protection for the fry. So in a month, you should have a carpet developing pretty nicely and it is overall pretty cool plant to keep. Now my fifth plant and my fastest growing plant in my opinion is the giant Ambulia. So I recently got this and it's growing so quickly. So I'm ha having to trim it every three days or so. And my tank's 45 centimeters tall. It looks amazing. It's just like pine needles with those very thin leaves. And um, I just really love this plant. So they don't really shed their leaves back much. So they are a pretty adaptable plant and you can keep them in wide parameters. They do have a few relatives out there of Ambulia, but um, the giant Ambulia is one that I've had success with. Highly recommend it because it grows super quickly. You don't need high lighting in your tank. It's a really funky looking plant and great for breeding live bearers and all sorts of fish. So give the giant Ambulia a go. My number one on the list, my top 
fast growing plant. Well, there you have the top five fastest growing aquarium plants for beginners. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, always helps me out to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content just like this and for also some entertainment ones now and then. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.